Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with episode 329 of Ask Dave. Today, we are going to try to recover the MFJ 1886 receive only antenna that was destroyed by some large animal over the past couple of days. So we're going to take apart the case for the preamplifier and make sure that the preamplifier is still intact. And then we will try firing it up and seeing if it works. So let's dig in. Okay, this is an electrical fixture here that the uh, preamplifier is housed in. It's still got the label on it there. Um, let's see if we can take this apart. We'll take the cover off first. Note that the cover here has warped and that the gasket right here is open so that water can get in. Fortunately, we live in a very dry climate, so the amount of water that gets in would probably be very little. Okay, there comes the top. And you can see here how the gasket on the top is all cracked from exposure to RF, whereas the gasket on the other side, which is in the shade, is intact. Okay, well this is what is inside of it. Let's see if we can get some light on it there. Okay, that's the preamp. Now what we're going to do is take various... We certainly don't need that bear coax anymore. This is what the animal did to the coax. Just ripped it up. Okay, it looks like the first thing we're going to have to do is unhook the connector. And it looks to me like that's actually soldered on. So we're going to have to unsolder. There's a, a lead in here that goes from the SO239 down to the board. And we're going to have to unsolder that before we take this connector out. And then there are screws in each corner that appear to come all the way through on the back here. So we will take those off next. And then we can uh, get that uh, board out of there. Because that board is going to have to go into a new electrical fixture. This electrical fixture here is going to have to be trashed. So let's see if we can take that lead off right there. Okay, here we are. Uh, we are trying to get this thing unsoldered here. And we've been having a lot of trouble. Let's just try it now. There we go. Okay, that is unsoldered. The last step that we do will be to put that back. And now we need to get this thing out of the case. And I'm not sure. No, it's just the right size. Okay. This is a little thing with a washer attached. Okay. Now this comes off. And now this should come out. I'm wondering. I think we may have to remove those screws. Oh, we've certainly got to remove this one because you can see right in here that there is a uh, connection right there to the ground. So we'll take that screw out. Okay, this is the connector and we'll solder 
that back on that. We've got a nut right there. Okay, this does come out. Okay, we're gonna just sort of push it up and out. Okay. The um, amp appears intact. Okay. Um, this is the wire to one part of the loop. This is the wire to the other. Here is where the ground comes in. Here is the center conductor. Okay. So the next step is to find this connector, or this device, at uh, Home Depot. Looks like they picked it up at Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that, and then drilled all these holes in it. So now the one hole I'm going to have trouble with is that one, because I don't have a drill that big. Uh, the other holes won't be a problem this is just a plastic and it tells you in here it's uh it says carlon lanson and sessions ul pvc 12 cubic inches volume Okay, so that's the size. We'll take this with us down to Home Depot and get it figured out. Okay, what I've got in front of me here is this is the preamp right here. I've got this coming from the radio and the bias T. Okay, and then this is the actual loop. And what I'm going to do, if I can figure out where I just put those... Here they are. What I'm going to do is hook all this up. We'll do the center lead of the coax to the center lead of the coax, which is right there. And we'll do the, the center. Okay, now we're going to take a couple other wires here, both yellow. We're going to try to take and we're going to connect the antenna Okay, now let's go look at the uh, SDR radio. Okay, that's with power to the amp off. This is power on right here, and you can hear lots of things. Okay, so what we did here was we hooked up the, the, the board here, okay? We hooked up the board. Uh, it's connected to this coaxial cable, which is going over to uh, my uh, SDR receiver uh, with the bias T. Okay, the loop antenna is connected to it. The coax is connected and it's gone through the bias T. And we just tuned some AM stations to show the big difference in amplification that you get when you turn on the bias T versus when you turn it off. Now what that means is that the preamp is still working. 
Okay, so tomorrow I will go to Home Depot and we'll see if we can't uh, find this little box. It's a 12 cubic inch uh, in volume and we'll try and get the identical box. If we can't find it at Home Depot, there's a couple electrical supply stores in the area. So there you have it. Please subscribe to my channel. It really helps uh, YouTube know which channels it should recommend. And also, if you would like, you can click the bell for notifications. YouTube no longer sends out uh, email notifications for videos. Uh, they're assuming you have another way to be notified by YouTube. Um, also, please check out dcastler.com support for various ways that you can help support this channel. And until we next meet, 73.